Alright, I'm on to the version of Raid Raptors that I play to show you guys the one card combo that's in the deck. Uh, I play 44 cards in mine. You, those of you are, who are familiar with this, one pain, three Moxie, one Boots, three Ash, one Zephyros the Elite, one Dionysium, only one Vanishing Lanius because um, the quick launch would actually replace Vanishing Lanius extension effect by far. So only one Vanishing Lanius because you do end up in situations where if you don't have Nest or your um, Boot Sector launch in play for Zephyros to bounce it back, you would have to special summon the Strangle Lanius and bounce it back. And when you do, you want to use the Arsenal Falcon to special summon the Vanishing Lanius to special summon the, str the Strangle Lanius back from your hand of the field to trigger its effect in those scenarios when that does happen. But just one on Vanishing, two on the Mimi Cry as always, two on the Tribute as always, one on the Singing, one Curtain Riser, two Tracers, one Recharger, two Raider's Wing, two Stranglenius, one ZS Armored Sage, two Nibiru, one Boot Sector Launch, one Ness, one Twin Twisters, one The Phantom Knight's Rank of Magic Launch, three Quick Launch, two Call by the Grave, two Crossword Designators, two Phantom Knight's Rank of Magic Force, one The Phantom Knight's of Shade Brigadine, and three Evenly Matched. And in the extra deck, Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon, two Four Strix, one Number 70, one Time Thief, one Gaga -ga, -ga, Ga Magician, one Raider's Knight, one Dark Requiem Exceed Dragon, one Arc Rebellion Exceed Dragon, one Arsenal Falcon, one Duo Dawn King Kaluga, one Ultimate Falcon, one Striker Dragon, one Y Strix, and one Rusty Bradish. This is the version that I play that has the one card combo engine in it. You go off quick launch. Special summon out the Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer into Strike a Dragon, Strike a Dragon the Field Spell, Strike a Dragon Pop itself to put the Rocket Tracer back in hand. You would use the Boot Sector Launch effect to special summon out the Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer Pop the Boot Sector Launch. You would special summon out the Rocket Charger. Keep in mind with a normal summon there. Overlay into the Four Shreks. Add your Tribute Lanius, normal summon it so you can dump Mimikrai, get Nest, and that's full combo from there off of one card quick launch. I will show you guys the only combo that really matters, and that's just getting two special summons on board. This is the one card uh, version to do it, as well as you have two card combos in the deck that can also do the exact same thing in with that route so the next video for you guys would be showing you guys that combo in its entirety so yeah all right hopefully we get that all-powerful hand to actually start off with the single one card combo to go full combo for you guys going first yet again let's see if we can open with a quick launch Yes, we did. Wow. Wow. We have no control over this, but apparently it's working with me today. Okay, one card starter. Quick launch. This is another reason why you play two Mimi Cries, because you can't open with one and you always want one to dump. So you go Rocket Tracer, Rocket Tracer into the Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon gets you the Boot Sector launch. Striker Dragon pops itself and puts the Tracer, Rocket Tracer back in hand. Then Boot Sector launch and then Special Summon of your Rocket Tracer. Then Rocket Tracer's effect, you pop the Boot Sector launch. This would be your second special summon as you use Boot Sector Launch a special summon a Rocket Tracer. Well, this would be the second time Rocket Tracer would be hitting the field as you use 
the quick launch of initially first special summon him. You're going to go into that first four Strix, uh, Tribute Lanius. You dodge anything, doesn't really matter. So you could dump that Mimicry from there. Mimicry to get you Nest. Nest. This is the reason why I didn't play it online because it's actually faster just playing against the AI trying to get the combo off. Then you go pin. Pin on the tribute. We take four. If you do have the singing, special summon out singing, then activate pin's effect so you only take 100 points of damage. You're now going to link into the Y Strix. Then special summon of the Zephros. Zephros and tribute Linius for the second four strips. Then you're going to add that Raider's Wing. Make sure you detach the Zephros always. Get your Raider's Wing. Then our first rank of magic set. Then you want to make all of your link plays first. Always make your link plays before you rank up. Keep that in mind. We're going to put Ness back in hand and we're going to make the Rusty Bridige, Y Strix, and the Zephros. Then we're going to send Boots so we can set our second rank up magic and then use Boots effect to add the third. So we're going to set the rank up magic launch and then use Boots to get on third rank of magic we didn't open with the shade brigadine this time but it honestly doesn't matter like i told you full combo is just having the Ar arsenal falcon and dark rebellion in play with both rank ups now from here we can actually rank up and we're going to banish three the three you would banish would be rocket charger tracer and the striker dragon now the only time you don't banish your tracer and your recharger is if you were able to bounce your boot sector launch back in your hand then when you summon boot sector launch during the following turn if your opponent manages to hold your board you can special summon back if your opponent has two or more monsters special summon back both rockets overlay into the um Phantom, I think it's Phantom Knight, the rank 4. I'll check in the extra deck for you guys. Let's just banish 3 so we can move on with the combo real quick. Um, Arsenal Falcon, defense position. Oh, Raider's Knight. So that you can go into the Raider's Knight and then go into the Arc Rebellion to negate all monster effects on the field and gain all the attack points. That's if you were able to put the Boot Sector Launch back in hand. But usually you pop the Boot Sector Launch to initiate this combo. From here, you would detach a material to special summon a make sure you detach a tribute lenius a strangle lenius from your deck straight to the field defense position and immediately activate its effect the special summon the tribute raid right back to the field and then you'd be able to detach using the raider's wing to ensure that the arsenal falcon has no materials you would then make the Dark Rebellion to finish off this combo. Since the defense of Strangolinius is higher, we're going to leave that on the board. We're going to get the Dark Rebellion defense position. No, we're not going to pop. There's no other effect to activate from the graveyard to extend to get the Time Thief. If this Mimi Cry was another Raid Raptor such as uh, Singing, we could have made the Time Thief still. Um, but that's irrelevant. We're going to set our next rank of magic. You still have full combo to stun the board and execute your plays. We're going to end with that. Always ensure that you have your um, your right trigger to um, on so that you can chain both effects. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to allow him to place a card 
to pause first and keep our triple monster in the gate. We're gonna go to auto for now, just so that we don't have to say no too many times. There it goes, he wants his um, domain. We're gonna allow the domain. When he activates the domain, we're gonna hit our trigger to on. Well, actually we could have just left it to auto. I'll put it back to auto and then you just do what we did the last turn. Rank up into the Dark Requiem. We can banish the Zephyros. Dark Requiem. And then pop a card. Now, if he plays anything that we want to negate, we can still do that and tend to the back row. He placed a card in the back row. Before we end the turn, we're going to rank up into Kel Yuga. So that we can actually clear it out of the back row. We don't want nothing to activate. During the end phase, Kaluga's effect goes off. We're gonna detach, rank a magic launch. And we shouldn't have anything feasible. I think that's only the first mana. Uh Okay, yep, we should be good to go. Now we can actually use Strangolini's effect again so we can get another Grave Raptor from our graveyard. Oh, I wish that was a four. <laughs> um, Mimikrai summon and we can still get into that Time Thief that we wanted. And I put that Raptor inside the wrong zone. I should not have put it in um, Rusty is soon. I could have gotten a pop along with the time thief, but it's really irrelevant at this point. Um, we can actually jump him before the end of the turn so we can get an additional add on a raid raptor, but it's irrelevant. From here, we're just going to assault the board. Rusty. Then time thief. Requiem and Duo Kaluga. Nope, no new it. And that was the full combo coming from the one card engine. And that's going to be it for the combo guide in its entirety. You guys saw the combo with two generic raid raptors. You guys saw the combo with uh, three Raid Raptors for the pure build. You guys saw the combo with two generic um, special summons. And you guys also saw the combo with the one card combo, for full combo. That's going to be it for the combo guide for you guys. So yeah, until next time. Later.